Happening now, the first annual Emerge Film Festival is about to wrap up with its final showing in Lewiston. Emerge was created after the LA Film Festival was canceled this past April when the founder, Joshua Shea, was arrested on child porn charges. Well, filmmakers tell me they were thrilled to join the newly organized Film Fest. And tonight, we take a closer look at some unique and interesting storylines that are coming out of the films being screened, not only for what's in the movie, but the backstory. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. We drove up from, you know, through Portland and all the way up to uh, the L.A., the East L.A., and uh, we, we love it. It's absolutely stunning up here. Some homegrown hospitality is greeting filmmakers from across the world in Lewiston and Auburn for the Emerge Film Festival. It's a chance for some of the stories behind the stories to be heard. We actually shot our film during Hurricane Sandy. And it was, a, it was such a tough time for the Northeast, but at the same time, we got to see the community really rally together. We had a lot of support, and we were able to continue making our film. And it, it actually comes through in all these anecdotes and stories of things that happened while we were shooting. Patrick Ward Perkins is part of the team that made Ink and Steel, a movie about a mob boss's son who needs to be protected from the family business. They had no electricity or gas for the first three days of shooting the film because of the superstorm. The story behind the making of the magic bracelet hit close to home for Maynard Mary Dempsey. The similarities that we share in our stories are parallel to each other. And so I think no matter what disease process you have, there's a lot of similarity in how you handle it and how you move forward in attitude. She invited Stacy Goldberg to tour the Dempsey Center while in town for the Film Fest, and she'll join her at the screening of the film that was written by Goldberg's daughter, Rena. The 15 year old died in 2010 from mitochondrial disease, and her dying wish was that her mother would make sure the movie was seen on the big screen in Hollywood. Last year, it was. And now, through film festivals like Emerge, it's raising awareness about the disease that prohibits the body from converting food and oxygen into energy to live. Her mantra was um, love life, dream big, and be positive. And she really wanted to teach that through her film. The Magic Bracelet was produced by the Make a Film Foundation, which teams up with big names in Hollywood to create films for children with life threatening illnesses.